I'm Forrest Saunders at the Capitol. Disney's lawsuit, a drag queen rally at the Capitol, and DeSantis' big trip abroad. All of those topics stealing headlines in Tallahassee this week. Here's a recap. In boots and heels, drag is not a crime. More than 100 drag queens and allies marched to the Capitol Tuesday, protesting bills banning gender dysphoria treatments for minors, limiting government bathrooms to biological sex, and threatening fines or jail time for those allowing kids to watch, quote, adult live performances. Um, I am somebody. somebody. Something the group sees as censorship of drag shows. We won't be erased. We understand that the laws have been passed, but we're going to let them know that we're not going to take it laying down. Rep. Randy Fine, shepherding two of the bills, says the goal is to protect kids. I got news for you. We're just getting started. A day earlier, he also subpoenaed two state health groups who back, quote, gender-affirming care, seeking data on why. No one should have a problem with that. If they do, it's probably because they, they know we're not going to like what we find. And while lawmakers worked, the governor made headlines overseas during a trade mission to Japan, South Korea, and Israel, where he defended the Jewish nation and repeatedly dismissed questions on whether he was running for president. And if there's any announcements, you know, those will come at the appropriate time. Meanwhile, Disney v. DeSantis, now a federal court case. The company filed suit against the governor and new state oversight board, alleging they were penalized by the state for speaking out against a controversial bill last year. Quote, in America, the government cannot punish you for speaking your mind. I'm very excited because I think they should have done it a long time ago. Democrats and Republicans split on the lawsuit, which aims to put Disney back in control of the land around its Orlando parks. The governor's not going to give up to, to what I know and understand. I'm not speaking for him, but um, Disney will lose this fight. Finally. 76 yeas, 34 nays, Mr. Speaker. Show the bill passes. Lawmakers sending a sweeping elections bill to DeSantis' desk. It'll upgrade rules and penalties for third-party voter registration groups. Plus, makes clear the governor can run for president or VP without needing to resign. Another divisive issue. If everybody's talking about it, we might as well clarify it. Yeah, it's, a, it's the political equivalent of being married but still being able to date. DeSantis, as you might expect, will likely sign, making that bill law in the coming days. And there are still plenty of things that need final passage. We're talking about the immigration as well as higher ed reform bills. They still need to get through the chamber behind me, as well as the potentially $115 billion or more state budget. All of that expected to happen in session's final week. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.